Hey y'all, it's Trisha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you a Target Dollar Spot haul. Now, if you have been around my channel very long, you know that I love decorating and my latest video was a fall decorate with me, but our Target Dollar Spot had not put any of their fall decor out yet. So I decorated with just everything that I had from previous years. Now I am going to make a video with all of the decor that I add into my fall decorations this year. So stick around, make sure you're subscribed for that. And in this video, I am also going to be showing you a crock pot chocolate peanut butter lava cake. Doesn't that sound good? So I would love for you to stick around and let's get started. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I was so pleased with the Target decor this year. It is very modern farmhouse. So I was able to get these gold candlestick holders that I talked about in my fall decorating video. And I am going to be showing you what I do with those. I also picked up these white candlesticks to put in them. And I love these because they can be changed out, you know, keep them up for Thanksgiving as well as Christmas. I also picked up a uh, forest green pair of candles also. Then I just picked up these floral picks. They are very, very similar to the hearth and hand line, but they're cheaper. And I just stick them in mason jars. I love this yellow eucalyptus. It just speaks fall to me. So I picked up some of those. This was one set. It came as three, the same with this. And I think that was $3. I also picked up these twinkle lights because I love to put them inside the mason jars, especially with this kind of purpley maroonish color. It's a darker color, so it needs something to lighten it up in the mason jar. And then I picked up this Welcome Autumn sign. I just love this. It is so affordable. It was $5. If you went to Hobby Lobby, it would be at least twice the price. I also got this Give Thanks, these blocks. I was just thinking ahead for Thanksgiving decor because it's not really that different from our fall decor but I wanted to have that on hand. I won't put it up quite yet. Then this is my favorite, you guys. Okay, it says, it's one of these little houses. I have seen these, I think Hobby Lobby has them, um, different places, but it was, I think it was $3, and it comes with four different prints. This one says, autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. Cool air, bonfires, yummy pies, falling leaves, cozy sweaters, pumpkin spice, friends and family, autumn is here. And then watch this, guys. You can switch it out. This one, it says thankful, perfect for Thanksgiving. And then on the other side, welcome home. And you guys, you can leave this up all year long. I love their decor that you can keep up for all the seasons. Then I was able to find these hand towels. Again, the autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like mint and it's subdued for fall. And then on the back, it has just some pumpkins. So cute. I love the tassels. Then this so reminded me of what Joanna Gaines would decorate with. It's this, I guess it's tin metal pitcher in black. They also had white and they had galvanized. So cute. I thought it would be awesome if I could get some picks of like um, wheat. That is very pos uh, popular right now to put wheat in pitchers for fall. So cute. And then finally, last but not least, I just picked up this other autumn sign that I will probably put 
in my kitchen because it is kind of modern farmhouse style. And that is all I picked up for the Target dollar spot, you guys. I hope you enjoy this Target haul and let's get into our cooking video. Now you will see I am in different clothes because some days I film the cooking just as I'm doing it. So don't be alarmed, my daughter helped me um, with this and you guys, it is so delicious. I will link the um, recipe down below. Let's get started cooking. Here's the ingredients for the slow cooker lava cake. And I have a little assistant over here. Say hi. Hi. And we have eggs down here. So let's get started on this. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm I think the recipe actually calls for a bigger package than I have of pudding. But I'm just gonna use what I have on hand. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. And then I have just about half of this container, eight ounces for sour cream. Jumping from cliffs so high. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know if I let me figure out where the road goes, even if I'm falling down. I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, so I have my cake mix, pudding, and all of that mixed up together. I'm just gonna spray the crock pot real quick. I know my crock pot looks kind of dirty and brown, but it's just scratches and that kind of thing from using it so much. Then you scoop everything in. And I'm just gonna pour in about a cup or more, if you like, of chocolate chips and stir those all in. Save a few for my kids. They like to snack on those. Okay, and then you are going to put paper towel over the top of this and it absorbs the moisture that's going to start. Put it on low for three and a half hours. Now, when you look at it at three and a half hours, it's gonna look all like bubbly on top and ooey gooey and you're gonna think, oh, it's not done yet because I did that last time I made this. I've made it several times. Last time I was like, oh, it's not done. It was definitely done. So once you dig into it, you want it to be ooey gooey like that. So definitely stop it or keep it on warm at three and a half hours and it is definitely done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It is one of my favorites and I'll show you how we serve it once it's done. 
It is three and a half hours later now. And here is the lava cake, peanut butter chocolate lava cake. I just plated it up with some vanilla ice cream. So yummy. If you guys like my cooking videos, please let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.